So we just flew into Stockholm. Bloody hell, that was a bumpy landing. First time ever actually I've been in a plane that's had to go around. I've never tightened my seatbelt that much before either. But it did raise the point that I brought up the other day about security on these aircraft. The pilot actually opened the co cockpit door for about 30 seconds, maybe even longer, whilst the air hostesses took him a cup of tea. This is on SAS, SAS flight. Now normally on British Airways they do not open the cockpit unless they've got at least two cabin crew in front of the door. Just as a safety measure really, they also close the curtains. But on SAS they didn't do that, which really surprised me. I just think it's really dangerous because I didn't have to show any ID to board that plane. Uh, no, did, not, neither did anyone else, because we're flying within Schengen. And the time that that door was open to the cockpit, we could all see the pilot, we could see straight in there, nobody stood in front. Anybody on that plane, in theory, that was a disgruntled member of some organisation or whatever, could have charged into the cockpit and put the lives of everyone on that plane at risk. Now, it might sound a bit extremist, but it could easily happen. And I was just really surprised. As I say, the door was open for about 30 seconds and um, anyone could have even gone, got up and gone to the toilet, which is right next to the cockpit. I find it very, very strange. But anyway, I made it down alive. It was bumpy, but luckily the seatbelt kept me in the seat. <laughs> if you're flying into Arlanda, prepare for a bumpy landing tonight.